What is going on, everybody? It is your boy Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So right now, the markets are slightly in the red. We're going to break that down in this video. And I also want to go over what I just bought earlier today. We're going to talk about that. So without further ado, sit back, relax, hit the like button, subscribe, take a sip of your coffee, and let's dive into the video. And by the way, if you guys want 10 free dollars plus up to 15 stocks, each up to 2000 bucks for Mumu. Use that link down below. It is limited time, guys. Deposit at least 100 bucks, and you get some free money. It also helps out the channel. I appreciate you all as always. So let's dive into it right now. It is about 11.45 when I'm filming this. When you're watching it, it's probably going to be around noon, uh, you know, 12.15 roughly on the East Coast. Or maybe it's later. I don't know. What time are you watching this video? Let me know in the comments, guys. So right now, we have the market slightly down. But... They were actually down even more earlier in the day, and we've actually seen a bit of a rebound. And, and I just got Monster, uh, an alert for Monster here. Let's pull that up, actually, and look at it very quickly. It just broke 94. Yeah, Monster is ripping. Holy crap, it's up uh, 9 bucks over the past couple of days, roughly one week. But let's not get sidetracked, guys. Let's get back over here to Spy. So Spy right now... It is up, well, it's down on the day, 0.3%. We have the NASDAQ down 1%. The Russell's actually up 0.3%. The Dow is uh, pretty much at break even. But like I said earlier, we were down even more. Look at this. Spy was at, what, 385 earlier in the day. Now we're pushing 388. We're up about 0.7% from the low of the day. And triple Q in that same time period is up roughly uh, from 276 now to 278.60. It is up almost 1%. So we are seeing a nice rally here off of the lows. And going back to SPY on this 10-day chart, I want to show you guys this because this is what I was looking at in my uh, morning video that I made for my Patreon members. What we can see here is we are getting a pop and buying pressure right by the 180 SMA, right at about 382, 383, 385, which is a very good sign right now for the bulls. If you're looking here on the 10 day chart on spy, it looks like we want to go back, maybe not today, but at some point this week and test those highs at about 390 bucks. And triple Q is not looking as good. I'd say on the 10 day chart, uh, you can see clearly we still have resistance at 285, which I've been saying like a madman on this channel. That is a big spot to watch out for in the future, because look, we haven't broken out of there in close to actually over a month, uh, almost a month and a half, and that needs to break for us to see more upside, obviously, to about 295, 297. If that were to break, we could be pushing 310, 315. So at this point, guys, um, you know, SPY is looking better, a lot better, I'd say, in the short term, um, you know, compared to Triple Q. Uh, but still, you know, they're, they're both recovering losses here from the low of the day, which is a good sign, even though they're all – Pretty much all the indexes are still down, except for the Russell, which right now when I'm filming is up a quarter of a percent. And we have the VIX. Let's not forget about the VIX, guys. That is up about 2% right now as we have uh, gold down a quarter of a percent. And silver is pretty much at break even. So what do you guys think about the markets? I mean, at this point, uh, you know, again, we have big resistance coming up on Triple Q, but we are recovering a lot of these losses and, you know, the Dow might go green. The Russell's already green. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And now let's talk a little bit about some stocks before we get into what I actually uh, bought. Let's see GameStop here. GameStop was ripping earlier in the day. Did you guys see this thing? I mean, this was at 35 bucks. And who called it out? Who called it out? I did, guys. Not to toot my own horn, but screw it. We're going to do it. I called it out a couple of videos ago, and this thing completely broke out. It got the 35 bucks, which means at one point it was up 23%, and right now it's up 5%. So, I mean, it's come down a lot intraday, about uh, 15%. But still, if you guys look on the four-hour chart here on GameStop, it is still holding trend. Look at this. It is still holding um, you know, the, the highs from... The beginning of September all throughout just the, you know, today, you know, yes, uh, the last trading day, right? We're still holding that high as a support now at about 29, 50, 30 bucks. We're still above the moving averages. So I think this could be gearing up for another move. I feel like this could be getting ready to rip uh, past 30 again, maybe back towards the mid thirties. You guys can see, um, you know, that's where we just were, uh, where we were this morning. Right. And for, uh, for uh, that reason, the fact that I think we could be going higher, in my opinion, I'm going to set my alert at 30 bucks. We're at 29.50 now. If we break 30 bucks, 
watch out for um you know round two maybe maybe not today but some point later this week I think it is possible so GameStop's looking good we have DraftKings moving up right now it's up about five percent you guys can see on the uh, on this four hour chart here we have a wedge let me redraw it. You guys see that higher lows have been made, but at the same time, we've been making lower highs. You see that, right, guys? Clear as day. So we have earnings coming up on DraftKings this Friday. If you guys watched my video yesterday, you probably saw that. If you didn't see that video, go watch it. It's called 10 Stocks to Buy. You know, it's pretty much going over what to watch out for for this upcoming week. It's my last video here on the channel. DraftKings is reporting. So we have to watch out for what it does here at about... 16 17 bucks that's going to be a big spot you know if it breaks out of there and above 18 dollars this could really start breaking um in the short term and who knows man you know this quarter coming up and especially the next quarter we're going to see a lot of more um uh, i don't know i don't know if it's gonna you know explode completely in terms of revenues but it's football season right we have college football we have nfl football or nfl uh national football league right we have nfl football um and this is a big betting period. I personally don't bet. You know, that's not my thing. You know, I, I actually one time I I threw a hundred bucks on DraftKings last year uh, for fun, and I wanted to see how long it would take me to lose it completely. And the rule was, once I lose it completely, I'm done. No more. Uh, and I have an eyelash in my freaking eye right now. No more betting, right? And you know, I'm not a big better. I, I honestly I hate casinos. I mean, I go sometimes for fun, but. It's not my thing, really. Uh, and it took me about a month, actually, to lose the 100. I actually lost, or uh, lasted way longer than I thought. Uh, you know, I thought I was going to lose it within a couple of bets. But I was, it was during the NBA season. You know, I was, um, you know, betting pretty much every day. And <laughs> it took me a month to lose it all. Uh, but I did win some, you know, I had some pretty decent uh, bets there. And, you know, we'll see what happens, guys. We have, uh, again, the NFL season, college right now. This is going to be a big time for, uh, for DraftKings. So let's get to what I bought. Let's get to what I bought, guys. I ended up buying more Meta today, as it is now dumping towards the lower. Um, not well, it's more mid 90s now, but it did get to 93.96 at the low of the day. If I pull it up here, uh, you guys can see that that was about what 30 minutes prior to me filming this video. So yeah, I mean this thing is getting hit yet again. It closed on Friday at about 99, 100 dollars. At one point on Friday, it was pushing um, 101. And when I saw it cratering this morning right at open, guys, I was like, okay, now's my chance to finally buy more. And I actually haven't bought more Meta in, uh, I don't know when the last time I bought Meta was, to be honest, probably in the 130s, 40s. And, you know, it's been a couple of weeks for sure, maybe even a month or two. Let's see this chart here. Um, yeah, for sure, probably a month or two. Um, you know, and at this point, we all know they reported earnings, the stock went down 25%. And this is one that I'm sticking to my guns. I'm buying and holding for the long term. I'm looking at this as a buying opportunity. And I'm not going to get too deep into meta and talk everything about what's going on because we've talked about that in recent videos. And quite frankly, that would make this video way too long. Uh, but meta, it's, it's cratering and, and it's trying to consolidate a little bit here after the earnings in the mid-90s. But who knows? I mean, I, I honestly, I hope it goes even lower because I bought at $95 and I, and I, and I believe 11 cents to be exact with you guys. I had a market order, um, you know, in a couple hours ago, whenever that was an hour or two ago. And, you know, I kind of wanted to go lower. I wouldn't mind buying even more meta in the eighties. You know, if I, I don't know, I mean, how low can this get? What do you guys think? Seriously? Do you think it's going to, you know, be like a, a $10 stock? There's no shot. I mean, if it goes to $10, I don't know. I, I'm going to lose all my money at that point. Everybody's going to lose a bunch of money, and that would be pretty crazy. Uh, but seriously, how low do you think this thing could go? I think, I mean, you, you never know, but I can't see it really getting much under 70 bucks. Um, you know, and that's being crazy, not conservative, but you, you know what I mean, right? That's being crazy, extreme, I'd say, if it got down to 70 bucks. Uh, but who knows? I'm going to buy an average and keep it within reason. It's not like I'm going to continue, you know, buying and buying and buying and, and not, you know, looking at the allocation in my entire portfolio. I mean, it's not going to become a massive position. That's not the idea here. But within reason, I'm going to continue buying the stock. And I've been extremely patient with it. You know, like I said, it's been what, two months, a month and a half since I last bought Meta. And at this point, 
it's you know the the patience game. You know when it was at 130 bucks a couple weeks ago, it was technically a great value based on you know the way I'm looking at it in the future. That's why I bought. But let's say I I was getting antsy and I wanted to buy more and more and more. I could have loaded the boat at 130. And now look at it. It's at 95. That's why with long-term investments, when you're scaling in, you got to be patient. Sometimes it takes two years to build a position. Sometimes, you know, it could take a month. Uh, but in this case, it's obviously been a long, drawn-out bear market. And for that reason, we got to be patient. We got to scale in. And we got to realize that it could go lower, which is why I'm, I'm being realistic with myself. I'm, I'm thinking I'm already prepared for it to go lower to the 80s, maybe even the 70s. And again, if it gets under 70, I'd be shocked, but never say never. So at this point, guys, let's run through some stats on Meta. I'll pull up my phone. And if you haven't gotten your 10 stocks or your 10 free dollars, plus up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, use that link down below. Again, deposit at least 100 bucks, and you could get all those you know free stocks and you get ten dollars free guaranteed so meta right now is a mark or has a market cap of 250 billion dollars you heard that right guys 250 billion dollars the trailing 12 month price to earnings ratio is an eight to uh, 8.9 which is insane it's under a 10 which is just baffling uh and of course their earnings are freaking collapsing right now uh because of the metaverse they're dumping a ton of money into that margins are coming down and it, it's insane i mean again p ratio eight market cap 250 billion i mean did you ever think you'd be saying that i mean just you know what it was a trillion dollars about a year ago not even uh roughly a year ago so this is nuts. Uh, let's see what else. I mean, let's see. All key statistics here on, on uh, Yahoo Finance that I'm looking at. Price to sales is a 2.3 right now. Price to books a 2.1. Forward P is about a 12. PG ratio, five-year expected. Price to earnings growth is about uh, 2.09. So at this point, guys, this is a stock that if you're looking at metrics like price to sales, price uh, or, you know, forward PE, trailing PE, you know, just looking at the, those base, uh, those basic metrics, this is a, a stock that is pretty cheap. But of course, there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of uncertainty. The vision for the company right now is kind of all over the place, which is, you know, obviously reflecting in the stock price. And we've seen this happen before with companies. And the way I look at it, and, and with this note, guys, we'll wrap the video up. The way I look at it is when I'm investing in a long term or when I want to invest in a company for the long term. I kind of want to buy in when there's some uncertainty, when there's some turmoil, uh, when the stock is obviously cratering on uh, uncertainty and, you know, uh, just, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough time for the business. You guys know what I mean, right? This is a time where if you believe the business fundamentally, you know, will get to where it needs to go in the future, right? Which I, be I believe it will with Meta. I think it's going to do well in the long term. Why wouldn't you buy, right? You want to buy in weakness in times of uncertainty. So then once the market realizes, you know, 6, 12, 18 months, however long it takes, two years later, oh my God, we had this wrong. Oh, it's not as bad as we thought. Boom, that's where the money's made. So let's say, for example, Meta, I bought today at 95 bucks and my goal is to get my average cost as close to 100 bucks as possible. I don't know if I'll get it under 100, to be honest, that'd be pretty wild. Uh, but let's say I get it as close to 100 as possible, the market realizes, oh my God, we had this wrong. And then boom, Meta goes back to 200, 250. I'm not saying for sure it's going to go back to 400 in a year or two. Who knows what's going to happen? But all I'm trying to say here is if the market realizes, oh crap, we got this wrong. Meta starts to rebound. Their earnings start to get better. You know, the company stabilizes a little bit. Maybe Mark Zuckerberg pulls back a little bit from the metaverse. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Uh, but the market will reprice the stock. And that is where uh, money will be made. So with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And don't forget to get your free stocks, 10 bucks plus 15 stocks plus 12 stocks. All those are linked down below for Moomoo and Weeble. And don't forget, if you guys want to check out my Patreon tomorrow, November 1st is the best time to check it out. It's the first of the month. You'll get billed once. And if you don't like it, you can cancel it. It's all good. No hard feelings. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Peace out.